Morgan Shepard kept the Sitco Wood Brothers forward in the top ten all season long and finished seventh in this year's standings. In his second full season in the legendary Wood Brothers Sitco Ford, 52-year-old Morgan Shepard proved once again in 1993 that age only adds savvy to a race driver's resume. Only four races into the season, Shepard claimed victory in Atlanta for the third time in his career. Then, from Charlotte to Michigan and down to Talladega, this quiet man prevailed in the summer heat and let his driving do the talking as he posted six top ten finishes in eight races. Continuing this swift pace on the super speedways, Morgan claimed a runner-up spot at Michigan in August. Thanks to his early win in March, Morgan stayed near the front of the points race for the remainder of the season. And tonight, we welcome him back to the Waldorf Astoria stage for the second time in his career as one of the ten best in NASCAR Winston Cup racing. From Conover, North Carolina, here is the seventh place finisher in the NASCAR Winston Cup point standings, driver of the Sitco Ford, Morgan Shepard. Morgan, congratulations on a fantastic season. For seventh place, $145,088. Thank you. I was listening to Bill Elliott there a little bit ago talk about being nervous. I tell you, if they don't shorten this show up, I might have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I like to read a little something. Arms has got short. This is kind of how it's been with me. Everything I have in my life, I owe it to faith in God. Everything I have in life has been made possible through faith. Because of that faith, I've always known that if you hang in there long enough, work hard enough, I can make certain things happen. Today, I'm one of the happiest men alive. And I'd just like to say thanks to uh, Ron Hall, Larry Britton, the Woods Brothers, for having faith in me. I'm proud to be here. I'd like to congratulate Dale Earnhardt, Richard Childers, and the staff. Nobody knows how hard these racers work and how much they put into it. Thank y'all. Thank you. 